All right, India Today has an exclusive interview of our Aadmi Party MP who's right out of jail, Sanjay Singh. First comment that he makes to India Today, he says he will support the India Alliance. Aam Aadmi Party is fully in favor of the India Alliance and says Arvind Kejriwal will remain the chief minister even if he's in prison, that he won't resign, asserting that this is not the time to celebrate and it's time now to struggle to fight back. In fact, Sanjay Singh there speaking to India today says and questions, will the Prime Minister and the Home Minister join investigation if opposition parties rule states file an FIR against them? Will they cooperate with investigation? Will they step down from their seat as the Home Minister and the Prime Minister? These are questions being raised by Sanjay Singh as he's come out a lot more confident after his release on bail from Tihar in the Delhi Laker Gate case. I'm going to quickly cut across to Sanjay Singh's reaction. We're going to bring that reaction for you in just moments from now. But let me quickly cut across to our panelists joining us. Uh, and before I introduce them, I'm going to take you through the controversy itself. The photograph of Arvind K. Jiwal. Remember, he's currently in prison waiting to get some interim relief, but the court has reserved the order. In the meanwhile, Arvind K. Jiwal's wife, Sunita K. Jiwal, has spoken as a mediator of Arvind K. Jiwal, saying that my husband has sent a letter from Tihar and that he is fighting for the people. Kejriwal says that he's put Delhi first and he basically is going to come back much stronger and will fight against this evil. And while she says that, what's very noticeable is that photograph of Arvind Kejriwal right behind, where his picture is placed right in the middle of Bhagat Singh and Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Now, this has stirred up a fresh controversy, asking if Kejriwal is a real freedom fighter, a hero as portrayed by the Amadmi Party. Let's have a look. In the political spotlight following her husband's arrest. Delhi ke do karore log mera parivar hain. Mere parivar mein koi kisi vajay se bhi dukhi nahi hona chahiye. Sunita Kejriwal steps up as the voice of Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal. Main jail mein hoon. Is vajay se mere kisi Delhi vasi ko kisi tarhe ki taklif nahi honi chahiye. Har vidhayak इलाके का रोज दौरा करें और लोगों से पूछें कि उन्हें कोई दिक्कत तो नहीं हो रही सभी विधायकों The imagery couldn't be more telling a photo of the Delhi chief minister behind bars flanked by portraits of Bhagat Singh and B R Ambedkar और मैं केवल सरकारी विभागों की समस्याओं का समाधान करने की बात नहीं कर रहा हमें लोगों की बाकी समस्याओं का समाधान करने की भी कोशिश करनी है दिल्ली के दो करोड़ लोग मेरा परिवार हैं। मेरे परिवार में कोई किसी वजह से भी दुखी नहीं होना चाहिए स्ट्राइकिंग पैरल्स अनफोल्ड इन सब प्लॉट विद इन द इंडियन ऑपोजिशन अलायस इन झारखंड कल्पना सोरेन इज ऑल्सो सीन एडवोकेटिंग फॉर हर जेल हजबेंड फॉर्मर स्टेट सी Heman Sorin. Meanwhile, in Delhi, the BJP criticised Sunita Kejriwal's video message on behalf of her husband, especially focusing on its backdrop. आप सोच के देखिए बाबा मेडकर जी क्या सोचते होंगे, शहीद बगैर सिंह क्या सोचते होंगे? ऐसे भ्रष्ट और कप लोगों के साथ हमारी फोटो टांग दी ये देश के लिए लड़ने वाले लोग थे और ये परिवार के लिए धन इकट्ठा करते हुए शराब घोटाला करते हुए जेल गए लोग हैं सुनीता जी आपको ये पाप नहीं करना चाहिए था एक पार्टी जिसका विश्वास अराजकता में है जिसका विश्वास संविधान की नीतियों में नहीं है और उसके मुखिया जो खुद शराब घोटाले के आरोपी है उनकी फोटो बाबा साहब के साथ लगाना और शहीद आजम भगत सिंह के साथ लगाना आप समझ लीजिए कि इनका राजनीतिक चरित्र कितना गिरा हुआ है इन द मीन टाइम द डेली हाई कोर्ट डिक्लाइंट टू एंटरटेन अ प्ली टू रिमूव अरविंद केजरीवाल एज चीफ मिनिस्टर आफ्टर हिज अरेस्ट द प्ली वॉज विद्रॉन आफ्टर द बेंच इंडिकेटेड इट वॉज नॉट इंक्लाइंड टू इंटरवीन ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे All right, let me quickly cut across to our panelists here. Anuja Kapoor, BJP spokesperson. We also have Siddharth Sharma, Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson, K.V. Dhananjay, Supreme Court advocate, to give us a little perspective on uh, 
Aam Aadmi Party, its political status, its standing, its reputation, how are they going to come together as a strong uh, opposition for the BJP? Uh, this looks about 2024. In Delhi itself, if I may ask the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson there, Siddharth Sharma, in Delhi itself, when it comes to Lok Sabha, uh, it's the BJP who swept 2019. So the BJP's only defense here is there's really no... There's no argument here of vendetta because either way, we hold great sway in Delhi Lok Sabha. That said, how are you looking at Sanjay Singh's return into the party, back again, out of jail? How is it emboldened the party at this moment? Yeah, Namila, thank you very much. Uh, essentially, what has happened yesterday in Sanjay Singh's case in the Supreme Court is that the Supreme Court very clearly said that in a PMLA case, if there is no money trail, the case is very frail and hence Sanjay Singh gets bail. That also by implication means if there is a money trail, there is no bail, exactly the opposite, there is jail. Now the moot question here is that the money trail has arrived at the BJP's doorstep through a 60 crore rupee uh, donation that BJP received from Mr. Sharath Reti, who while at the time of donating it was himself an ED accused. That makes the proceeds of the crime. Right, land but up at Siddharth, I'm going, to, I'm going to try and bring you back in line. My question here, uh, straight question <laughs> about how are you look, how is the party looking at Sanjay Singh's return? He's been meeting with uh, Manish Sisodia's wife. He's been meeting with Arvind Kejriwal's wife right after he stepped out of prison, that, that grand show of grit where he stood on top of a car and gave this whole speech outside Tihar. So do you believe that this is, this is in a way strengthened the party? You were feeling weak with Kejriwal going in, uh, the, your fourth leader and the main face. Sanjay Singh coming back, how is the party receiving it? I'll give you an analogy. Uh, if I'm a Team India fan, it doesn't really matter to me whether Virat Kohli plays, Sachin Tendulkar plays, or Sunil Gavaskar plays, as long as my team keeps winning. So, Amadmi Party, as the name itself suggests, it's a, it's a party of people. So, the, the leaders are important, but leaders are important because they give, they show us the way, and after that, the entire team goes uh, on on the road. So, essentially, what has happened is that this is the question that every child is asking today across India. Why did BJP take 60 crore rupees from Mr. Sharath Reddy? I think the BJP will have to answer it. Today, tomorrow, either on your show or in the court of law, it has to answer this question. And this, is, this question is on the lips of every, every, every small kid in India today. Now, coming back to your question, I think you started off by saying, uh, by taking Sunita Kejriwal's name and uh, what is her role here. Uh, tell me, Nabila, right now I'm, in a, I'm participating in India Today's channel. Isn't it true that uh, there is a medium of uh, uh, exchange that is called as Zoom? So can you blame Zoom for what I am saying right now or why I am saying, why is Zoom interested in it? Or I am sitting in Delhi and my mother writes to a letter to me from Bangalore. Can I blame the postman for that? Is it not, does, doesn't the BJP ecosystem know that one of the best books on India today, that is called as the Discovery of India, was written by a freedom fighter from a jail to his daughter in the form of letters. So the point no, here is I'm, that... I'm, Siddharth, I think you're totally, out of, uh, you're, you're totally out of topic. My direct question to you was, how is the party receiving Sanjay Singh's return? But hold on to your thoughts, maybe uh, gather your thoughts on that note. I'm going to quickly cut across to K.V. Dhananjay, a Supreme Court advocate also joining us, speaking, speaking specifically on what Siddharth Sharma said, pointing out at the money trail, at no proceeds of crime uh, of uh, the money itself, proceeds of crime found in this case, that... Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party says is equal to the AAP Netas being innocent. That the fact that this is vendetta, that's what AAP claims. If this was uh, vendetta, the fact uh, many of their Netas are in prison right now for more than six months. Arvind Kejriwal has been a few weeks now, but can we pronounce the leaders of Aam Aadmi Party in prison right now in suspicion of the Delhi liquor policy scam as innocent? Well, um, certainly not. But uh, whoever is, uh, you know, inside jail or just been released, or for that matter, whoever is also convicted, has the freedom to proclaim his innocence. Like if an individual is convicted by a court of law for a proper trial, and if that conviction is upheld even by the highest court, the person who is convicted still has a freedom to say that he is innocent and he wants the world to believe that he is innocent. But, you know, I think there's just too much of theatrics here. Take Mr. Arvind Kejriwal himself. Who in the right mind would, uh, you know, flout nine summons and then go to the court and say that he wants bail? 
if an average citizen of this country were to do anything remotely what Mr. K. Jival did, there is no way the courts would in fact show this level of expediency to hear his bail petition. But Mr. K. Jival should be quite grateful to the courts because I think the trial court did hear his bail petition and probably the high court must have already concluded hearing his bail petition. So all that you will see here is just theatrics and that I think it's a just a bit too much, number one. Number two, uh, Mr. Sanjay Singh was released only after six months and in these six months he made several attempts to get bail and his lawyers were some of the finest lawyers in this country. Now if they were not able to make out a case for bail and mind you, you know, there is so much of thing that a bail getting under, getting a bail under PMLA is difficult, no doubt, but getting a bail under PMLA is difficult. But it's not that if the ED has no case against you, courts will yet continue to believe the ED and then keep you behind bars. It's not so. There must be some prima facie case. And it's in the light of that prima facie case that a person actually tries to say that there is no case made out against him in order to get bail. Six months is a great deal of time and he's just been released. And of course, he's entitled to say that he's innocent and he's been wrongly prosecuted or wrongly framed and all of that. All of that is politics. But politics aside, you will find that there is just too much of theatrics here. And right. uh, it's, it's amusing, number one. Number two, uh, Mr. Kejriwal is behind bars. And uh, also the question arises. Now, Delhi is uh, relatively a tiny uh, you know, a, a place in this country. It's got a population of not more than two crores in a country which has a population of 148 crores. But the question essentially arises, how long will the chief minister of NCT of Delhi continue to rule from behind the bar? How long will this happen? Now, it's a different thing that the courts have refused to intervene, obviously, because I think the courts uh, certainly would not be in a position to intervene at this early state. Because, uh, he, but, but then the governor of the Delhi, I think he has some obligation to take note of whatever is happening. And right. the chief ministership is not something that devolves on an individual. It's something the party collectively decides upon. So it's important also for the Mr. Kejriwal to, you know, chart out how long he intends to um, you know, hold the CM post from behind bars. Hmm. Uh, right, sir. I, I think these are, Dhanan, these are very I, I, when you Right, absolutely. I'm going to come to that. Is it even possible for uh, a, a man in prison to run a government, especially a chief minister, the national capital? Uh, it's it's uh, shocking that uh, the Ahmadmi party insists that he, he will stay the chief minister and governance will carry on. I don't know how that's possible uh, to for governance to continue while a person, the CM, is in prison. Anuja Kapoor, BJP spokesperson with us. Anuja, we see that the, the BJP has really breathed fire against the AAP for placing Arvind Kejriwal's photograph right in the middle of Bhagat Singh and uh, Ambedkar. Um, what's, what's your grouse with it? Those are the visuals you see on your screens. Yes, Jai Shri Ram and uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, it is not the grievance, it is the reality why and how we follow Bhagat Singh and Ambedkar. They have done something for this country. They have given us the purpose of life. They've given us the purpose of freedom. They are the ones we behold the supreme. The ones are the example setters where we call Bharat the Bharat. How does Arvind K. Shrival come on the wall, on the same place where these two elite people, this freedom fighter and the constitutional per, uh, uh, personality who has made this constitution of India comes in between. On which does he, is there, is there any audacity in this? Is there any truth in Arvind Kejriwal? How are you putting yourself where you are already being allegated for such a corruption, where your people have been dying in COVID and you were making liquor policy. How do you justify yourself? How do you see okay. yourself in mirror? How do you word, see the things? A quick this word is something which is... Say that. how do you see it? You know, Sanjay Singh says that our party was born from uh, a, a protest site, that Andolan se janmi hui party hai hamari. So uh, in, during the Andolan of 2011, you uh, promise that you are going to take on the Congress party. All the corrupt leaders of the Congress will be behind bars if, uh, if you have ED in your control. But today you are in alliance with them. Uh, so a lot of double speak on your end as well. How, would you, how do you decide to strategize in the run-up to 24 now without the chief yeah. minister? Yeah, let me answer in the reverse order what uh, uh, the BJP spokesperson said and before that... Uh, on the, uh, the I barely run have time. You've got, to, you've got to be quick yeah, and stay I'm, on track. I'm, yeah, I'll just take 10 seconds. Don't worry. In India, when the Prime Minister has go shown on, us on. the way, yeah. 
when the prime minister has shown us the way by sitting in delhi and still being able to stop the war in ukraine and russia the chief minister of delhi right now is sitting in delhi and he is legally doing whatever he is doing so that answers bjp's question the learned counsel when he said he should understand that he is also an officer of law and presumption of innocence is central to law this is not what i am saying this is the law that is saying now for the third point that you are asking what is good for the goose is good for the gander if you speak about bjp you say uh, you if you employ the uh, um, yardstick of legality being legal or illegal on bjp then for others it cannot be morality aam aadmi party will be judged on the same scale that bjp is being judged if mr right. biren singh can have can continue in a dysfunctional state like uh, manipur arvind kejriwal has every right to stay on in in delhi in delhi Anuja? if the bjp says that an ed accused has to be in jail so how you. come shobha karan laje i i she is a ed accused in karnataka So mm-hmm. what is good is good for the goose is good for the gander. Rabila, I think I've answered. Rabila, you have to ask him to stop if you want me to. Respond. Go on, Anuja. <laughs> quick word from you. Yes, <laughs> Rabila. What I see in the people's, uh, uh, you know, the theatrical uh, speech which they give in the, you know, on, on on debates does not go well down with the people on the ground. That is how what is happening. That is why they are not being seen in any Lok Sabha. in 2019 no, but, but you, you may say what you want to say but the fact is but the fact does remain that a lot of the lot of your leaders have uh, cases on them which haven't been pursued by the ed or it or any of the central agencies as so i can give you the answer on this enthusiastic give you that you're pursuing the opposition give me, give me. give me give me a quick give me a quick rebuttal on this let me put a rebuttal on this what 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 bjp has done in this how does bjp get involved if an eow puts a closure report if there is a court mm court puts a, a, a stay order and if it if if it acutes a, a acquittal of somebody of it gives a stay how does uh, bjp is involved in this i would also like to answer that with the people who are talking about it in in praful patel the the cbi the way the fir was being done in the first report there was no name of the praful patel so i do not understand if they talk okay. about ajit pawar they how, okay. how do you how can do you, I... how do you put ajit pawar in this when the eow filed the closure report they it is with the courts who have to think about it they have a problem we have always said that Please go to Kapil Sibal. Go to Manu Sangvi. Go to them. Ask them. They okay, will, they go, will, they go will, to the best lawyer. lawyers and fight. Kavi Dhananjay, I'm going to wrap with you as I have no time. Thirty seconds. Can is it possible for the Aam Aadmi Party to say that no court has uh, convicted uh, Arvind Kejriwal, so therefore he's innocent? Well, it's possible. All of them are already innocent. But the fact of the matter is, when the Aam Aadmi Party saw that so many of their leaders were being arrested and they were not able to secure bail and that if they su- suspected honestly that the ed is actually setting out a false case against them why didn't they approach the supreme court or the delhi high court and ask for a court monitored investigation mm. that is the first thing they ought to have done but they have not done that so in that view of the matter while it's obvious that all of those who have been arrested are entitled under the constitution to say that they are innocent i think the public will have to form their own mind all i intended yeah. to say is not that x is innocent or not all i intended to say is that this is just theatrics and then it's amusing all right kavi dananjay thank you very much for joining us siddharth sharma and anuja kapoor for giving us your views on that well this is theatrics for sure but is this going to give any electoral dividends to the aam aadmi party Um, or will this hamper their prospects in the run up to 24 is something that we've got to wait and watch but thanks very much for watching stay tuned